Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone storage is being taken up for the most part by one specific application. So in this case, we can see that the biggest one that I have here is this iOS 16 developer beta 2, but below that is Genshin Impact Real Racing 3. These two applications are taking up multiple gigabytes of storage on my phone. Now, the reason why this is happening and the reason why these take up so much storage for the most part is because they are massive games. Both of those games are really big, Genshin Impact being more so. So because of that, they're just naturally going to take up more storage than any other application. So that shouldn't really alarm you. If you're running out of storage, you can always delete those apps. That's probably another thing I'd probably recommend doing for the most part. But another thing you can do on top of that is to take a look at which applications are anomalies. TikTok really isn't that crazy big. Snapchat shouldn't really be that big. And those ones are kind of the most big ones here for the most part. So the reason those are taking up so much storage is because they have a bunch of cache and everything and files in the background. So what we can always do is we can make our way over to those specific applications and we can see if they have an option of deleting cache. Now Snapchat does have an option of deleting cache for the most part. So you can click on your profile here, you can click on your settings, and all you want to do is go down to the data panel up here or the account actions, and you can clear cache. So that's going to clear 70 megabytes of cache, and you can even clear out a lot of other things, clear scan history, clear search history, and that's going to take down this 364 megabytes down to probably less than 300. So each app should have some sort of setting like that. If they don't, then you can always delete those applications and reinstall them. All your data should still be there, but it's just going to go ahead and be like a clean slate for the most part. On top of that, another big thing you can do is to go ahead and go through each individual app and see if there's any other options within there that allow you to go ahead and delete any internal save data. Maybe if you have like a game that has different save files, you can delete those. But those are pretty much the main things. On top of that, you can always update your iPhone. So you can do that by going into your iPhone settings here. You can go into software update, which is right up here. And you can just go ahead and update your phone. And that's pretty much another thing you can do as well. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out so much.